Hello YouTube, today we're going to be looking at some advanced C sharp things to do with DLL importing and using Windows the DLLs provided by Windows to do things like load fonts from well basically load fonts now to start this I've done this made this quick program which uses a font which I've added to the resource folder now this will work on any computer as if you just if because if you just go on your form and go to font wherever it is font and pick a font only your computer has the fonts on this list some of them like the Arial and some of them are on other people's computers but if you want your own well fonts then they're not going to have your fonts so you have to put them in the resource this font is off the Elder Scrolls Oblivion it's the Daedric language hello this is cool see and this will work on any computer that you put it on as the font is in the application not on the Windows 32 thingy Windows 32 font list okay to start new project Oops. Windows form application I'm just going to call it YouTube fonts okay we've got our application I'm just going to add a text box so we can test font okay then I'm going to go on right click on my project go to properties resources add resource no go to files add existing file then you need to go to the folder of the font the VNTT Select the .ttf, no .tff file, and click Open. Now, make sure that the build action is on Embedded Resource, and then I think that's it for now. And make sure the file type is binary. Now we can open our code. Oops. So we need to add some libraries using system dot drawing oh, dot text and using system dot runtime dot interop interoperation surfaces now above your main function you need to type square bracket d allow import gdi 32.dll you don't need any extra things for that and then underneath we need to add this private static extern int pointer mm -hmm. 
just my phone add font you have to do this exactly how I'm doing it mem resource ex and then for the parameters we need an int pointer I'm just going to call this pv font and then this uint an int which contains a value over zero font another int pointer pdv I don't actually know what this is for and then square bracket in ref uint pc fonts now you might want to put that on two lines oops I forgot square bracket okay now we're going to create the what's it called function which loads the font so private oh forgot we need to add up here font family ff font font and then let's create our private void load font ooh, font now we don't need anything as the parameters so first we need a byte array wait a sec oh uh, actually no we need a byte array and this is font array whoa my spellings hideous font array equals the so our thing is called youtube test fonts dot properties dot resources dot oblivion this will be whatever your, the name of your font is now what this is going to do is going to load all the data from this resource into this byte array so we're not going to mess up the resource at all now we need an int and this is going to be the data length equals youtube fonts dot properties dot resources dot oblivion dot length like that and now we need to create an int pointer which is going to point to our, the memory and this is going to equal marshall dot allocate wait there uh, allocate task okay allocate co task men and then inside the parameters we need the data length spelt wrong where is it th is that even right yeah that's right okay data length now this is going to load the byte array and then it's going to basically get all the go to your memory and see if it can get this many bytes of memory for the program so, see your me basically the memory is the RAM you've got a bookshelf with all your programs and stuff on and what we're doing we're requesting for this amount of bytes of the memory so we can use it and this pointer is going to point to the first location of this memory 
Now we need Marshall dot copy byte source. We're going to put we're going to put font array. So we're going to copy the data into all this free memory. Zero the start index and then PTR data and data length. So this is going to copy this array from starting at zero of this array and copy it to the location of the first uh, location in the memory which we've been allowed by Windows and we're going to allow it to copy the amount of bytes in this array. Next we're going to create a uint and call it C fonts so equal to zero and then we can use this add font whatever it is add font thing and then we're going to put the PTR data and then we go put brackets uint and then font array dot length and then we go put int p ooh, int prt dot zero and then ref c fonts this is going to turn our data into a font basically and then we're going to put private right there, private font collection pfc equals new private font collection and then we're going to pfc dot add memory font and we're going to put PTR data and data length and now we've created our font basically now all we need to do is free the memory or we'll have memory leaks and when we close the, close the program all this data will stay where it is and the computer will eventually become slower and slower so we need to free the memory so the programs can use it dot free co task mem and we need to go ptr data this is going to clear all the data because we don't need it anymore because we're containing it in this pfc and then we need ff our font family equals pfc dot families zero and then font equals new font ff 15 float and font style and you can do any I'm going to do bold and then we've completed our function to load font now we need something to allocate the font so private void al oc font now we need we need the font and we need the control and we're basically going to go flow actually also we can put a size so we need a float size and then we're going to go font style font style equals new font style dot 
dot. Okay, that should come up. Oh, font style dot bold. Actually, regular. And then we need to go C dot new dot font equals new font FF twenty in font style. I don't actually know why we have added right there. Uh, so this is the size, so we can put size variable in there, and then we've completed our function. So now we can go, we need the load function, double click on here, load, we're going to load font, and then we're going to alloc allocate the font to an object, so we need F, the font, of font and then we need the control this dot text box one and then we need the size 20 and then we're done and we can run our program hopefully our text loads and if we run this on another computer it will work let's try increasing the size 50 and it works that's how you allocate well that's how you load a font in C sharp thank you very much for watching please subscribe